Well, hello there, class. I am going to go and uh, do a, a video here for you uh, about how to use your uh, game, uh, how to install it. Um, do I have it upside down? No, I don't. <laughs> Good. Uh, so um, this is this is an important video um, to watch um, and follow it step by step, uh, so that you have no no trouble with the game. Uh, the first thing to say is you get your game here and um, you open it up. Okay, inside you'll see the USB card right here. That's the USB card, and on this is the game. So what you do is you take it out, and this one doesn't have it, but you'll have an authentication key in here. And this is to uh, prove that you've purchased this. Uh, it's only available at the bookstore, one per person. Uh, that's how Gamify does it. Uh, and you need to enter your authentication key into um, the prompt when uh, you'll see it ask you for it. Okay, so just put this down on the counter so you can you know use it and you can read your authentication key when you need it. And this is a USB card. Some of you may or may have not seen one of these before. Um, all you do is you pop it open like this. Okay, kind of neat. So you just and this is the USB part that you put in. On the back side is the directions and read those thoroughly. Okay, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this in my computer in the USB slot. Okay, and you'll see it pop up on my screen. This is my USB drive is F drive. And all I want you to do is to click on the whole folder. I don't need this here. I don't know why that pops up. Click on the whole folder here, all right? And you click on copy, all right? And then paste it onto your desktop. It's just that easy. So now you're pasting it onto your desktop, and it's going to take a while for it to copy, but be patient. Some people have faster computers than others, uh, and I understand that. And while it's copying, uh, I want to talk to you about how to use the, the... This is the only time that you're going to use your USB card. After you downloaded it to your... Um, downloaded or copied it over um, to your hard drive, you won't, you won't need your card anymore. Um, I don't want you playing on your card. Um, because cards can get hot if they're left inside the uh, computer for extended hours and hours and hours. Um, some cards have even melted. Um, I mean, not my USB card, but uh, this product, but I've seen other USBs uh, melt. Um, so that, don't, let's not do that. You, I want you to follow the directions and download it or copy it over to your hard drive. Once this happens, uh, I'm going to show you how to... Um, uh, navigate around and look at uh, all the folders and files so that you can get a good start uh, into your game. Inside the folder you will see um, the help videos um, it are in one folder which are very important. Most people's questions are answered in the help folders. Um, the, uh, the, the quest log worksheet, um, you'll see that in an example of the worksheet. Um, and, and I'll show you what's inside all, all the folders. One thing to say is that this game has been developed and used by over 3,500 students in my classes for the past four years. Um, it's, it's been versions have been coming, coming and coming and coming and getting better and better and better. And um, it's, it's a very effective pedagogical tool. Um, it's made to educate you, but also um, experience in an interactive way how to apply sociology. So it's very, it, it, the gaming part isn't what we're doing here, obviously. What we're doing is we're learning. Um, and some of you may not have some technical skills that you will have at the end of this class, like how to save as a PDF, um, shortcuts on control keys on your computer, um, how to take a screenshot, all of these types of things. Um, will be uh, collateral learning in my class. Um, this is a, a project, um, like any other project would be in any other class. Some of the students I noticed, um, very, very small amount, like we get about 20 to 30 percent of the students that are ecstatic to play a game. They're just like, this is the best thing, I played it five times, and blah, blah, blah. Most of the people are like, wow, this is kind of an interesting new way to teach. Uh, it's called gamification. There actually is an academic uh, methodology to this. Um, and about, you know, 60% of the people are like, oh, wow, yeah, this is cool. I kind of like it. It was fun. It's kind of challenging at times, and maybe I'll learn a few new things, but it was cool. And then there's about 10% that are just like, uh, they have emotional blocks with this. They see the gaming element. And they think, um, you know, I, I watch my kids do this all the time, and I can't get into this, and it's frustrating or whatever. 
Um, I, I, you know, and it's funny because when those ones end up at the end of class, they're always the ones that are like, wow, actually this was fun. And I see how it was applied sociology um, and how I solved social justice quests. And, um, uh, and, and I would rather do that than just memorize a textbook there that just sits there. Um, so, um, yeah, so, um, you know, be patient um, and uh, understand that you're going to have to take your time and not rush through this. OK, uh, the more you rush, the more you're going to have to go back and relearn how to play the game the right way. All right. So it's, it's in your best interest to do that. OK, so let's open up. The, we can close our USB. And actually, before you do, before I do that, I want to show you another thing. You need to go to eject on a USB. I never knew this before, too. I'm your first technological collateral learning step here. And you hit eject and then it will say it's now safe to take your USB drive out card out. So now we take it out. And I got it and I'm going to put it back inside of my little case for another day. Now you play directly from your computer. Okay. All right. So um, you're going to open that up. And in here we have a help videos. If you have a Mac, it works on a Mac. If you have a Windows, it works on Windows. Now remember that um, there is no Linux build and there is no Chrome. You'll have to have a Mac or a PC to play. Um, so if that's a problem, uh, you might want to know it now. Um, try to borrow a friend's uh, cousin, uncle, sister, brother, mother, whatever, um, but get a Mac or a PC. There's plenty of them out there. Um, here's a completed quest log example. You can look and click onto that to see what your written assignments will be um, will look like at the end. And there's more about what the quest log is and all of this stuff in the directions. Installation instructions, um, which you're watching right now, which I'm going to replace the old ones. Uh, quest log worksheet. I, I talk about what that is uh, later on. Uh, here's the textbook that you're going to use. Okay, so this is the the open source textbook um, that comes with uh, with the class here. So that's good. And then here is the instructions. And so you'll open up the instructions uh, to start to to learn how to play the game. Um, I'm on Windows, so what I would do is I'll double click Windows because I want to install it now. So how do you actually install the game, right? You see all these file, folders and files here. Well, how do I get going on the game? You would, and I'm on, on a Windows machine, not a Mac, so I would click on this and go, whoop, I'm going to double click on that, Sock Game, Sociology Game, and then here's a little game icon. All you got to do is click onto that guy and open it up, and that's how you get into your game every time. All right, this says continue now because this was an old copy that I've been playing on. You would just click New Game to get started. New Game, and then you'll follow the directions on the screen, and you're good to go. So every time... You'd want to get to your game all you would do is you would come to your folder and double click it i'm on windows if you're you know well i was going to say delete the one you're not using but i why, why not just leave it there uh, but click on windows and sock game and whoop, go to the game and it will open up that's how you get to your game each time you want to play okay all right so that's how we install onto your computer have fun um and take it step by step and there's all kinds of directions in the game and uh, outside of the game to read and I, the first quest is walk you through it to teach you how to do it so if you just pay attention and use your higher level critical thinking you'll be just fine all right hope you really super enjoy it um, if you have uh, cultural lag is what we call this in sociology so if you have an emotional block towards technology um, maybe this will be therapeutic for you and you can work through some of those issues okay all right, I hope that helps. Good luck. Have some fun.